Oh, so so you're a great leader. You you uh, the CTO. You're at this large organization. I'm curious about some of your leadership tips. Like one thing I I'd like to know about is like how do you keep your skills sharp? Is it conferences? Like what do you do? You just read a lot. Yeah. So keeping keeping sharp. Um, I I. I do try to read a lot. Almost everything I read is technical and nonfiction, but I very much look to my um, my teams uh, of you know very um, you know top level scientists and engineers that we have here in Agilent to often leave me a paper or send something that they've read that they think you know I should be aware of so that's a wonderful filter for me and when they bring me stuff I, I know that that's that's a very time well spent but I also do spend a lot of time externally and in those visits uh, I often go out with our um, field and sales teams and from a um, Agilent perspective, you know, that those visits open doors, for example, with um, university and industrial leaders that are important to helping them get to know Agilent better. But I also greatly value the opportunities to meet some truly amazing individuals who are all um, with their priorities in terms of investments and the future. And that's all part of what I integrate into doing hopefully that much more effectively setting the technology strategy for, for us here in Agilent. Yeah, I like that. And I, and I found that about two or three years ago, I was very quiet. Um, I knew maybe about like 10 or 15 people. And, you know, I, I was always, I would think about it from that perspective. I think, Oh, what, what blog do I need to be reading? Or, you know, how do I like stay up? And then I found that when you get involved with community, and you build up a network of people, what will happen is the most important information seems to make its way to you. And yeah, so it's so great when you start building up and whether you're an engineer and you're going to meetups or you know, listening to talks or just getting out there, I think that everybody at every level of their career should be engaging and networking and you know being involved in their, their community because I was retracted and when I got plugged in, it, it just changed everything. Yeah, you know, you're absolutely right, Joel. External focus is, has always been important, but more and more so in, in our world today.